Dr. Damien Scarf of the University of Otago has been taking a closer look inside the pigeons' brains. And he discovered that pigeons, along with our primate cousins, can too recognise if abstract objects are the same or different. When trained to recognise abstract objects, like these green and blue circles, pigeons not only know to match the blue to the blue and the green to the green, but they can also transfer the skill to objects that they've never seen before, like this hand, and this bomb. So the matching task is interesting because matching is something that we used to think was unique to primates. So showing that pigeons can match not only shows that they have the ability to match, but it also shows they can apply a learnt skill to a novel situation. Dr Scarf has discovered that pigeons can plan at least one step ahead, as well as primates do. This pigeon has been trained to pick three colours in a prescribed order. Red, green, blue. But when the green and the blue switch places in front of the pigeon's eyes, he picks wrongly. Or when the green and the blue were blocked by the opaque white squares, he still picks them in the right order, which indicates that he's planned his actions ahead. But as it turns out, our clever pigeons can recognise numerical differences as well. Pigeons have been trained to assort the first three numbers in the order of magnitude. To everyone's surprise, however, they can also recognise the difference between large numbers that they've never seen before. So what surprised me about my research is that I basically found that pigeons could perform a lot of the tasks on par, if not better, than primates. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a task that we know pigeons perform better than us, and that's their navigation skills. So pigeons can navigate from far away, so they can navigate over hundreds of kilometres from places that they've never been before. So now the new research is going to look at how they do that. So by attaching little backpacks that have GPS devices in them, we can basically not only see where they go, but also how they get there.